Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Silsic on Science. Today we're talking about microplastics. Specifically, I wanna show you the techniques for isolating and removing microplastics from organisms so that we can quantify them and determine how much microplastics are in that organism. So let me show you what we're working with. Let's take a look at our equipment here. We have some wax paper, a mallet, we have a dissection kit. We're gonna be using the uh, scalpel in that kit. Uh, we have a, a wooden a cutting board. We want to use wood, not plastic, because if we cut up stuff on plastic, we're going to be introducing more microplastics. We have our specimen, so this is going to be a little small sea turtle hatchling. Notice no actual animals are harmed in this video. We have a digital scale. Uh, we're going to call this 30% hydrogen peroxide. We're going to put our crushed up sample into this beaker here. We have some parafilm for covering the beaker with our dissolving uh, sea turtle hatchling. And we have a Buchner funnel and an aspirator here apparatus to create a vacuum. So let me show you what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna start with our specimen here and we're gonna take a piece of wax paper, put it on the wooden cutting board, put our specimen there. Notice, getting salty with Silsic. Then we're gonna uh, cover it with more wax paper and we're gonna crush it. Get the idea. We take a look at what we got. If there's any big pieces, we can take some scissors here and we can chop them up into smaller parts. And we can also use a scalpel to cut them up into smaller and smaller pieces. Once we're done, we're going to turn on our scale, put a piece of weighing paper down on the scale and we will zero it. Make sure it's in grams. So we can hit this one here until we get to grams. That's grams right there. And then we're going to slowly and carefully uh, slide all the debris onto here. So we have a mass, easy enough. And then we're gonna take this material, put it in our beaker. We're gonna pour enough 30% hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide to cover all the parts and pieces. So it doesn't have to be a lot, but it's gotta cover it. Then we're gonna take a piece of parafilm right here, cut off a piece, about four squares, it should be good. Okay. Uh, and then you can separate this. All right, let me work on this. Having a little hard trouble, a little bit of trouble here separating them. Uh, never easy when you're recording. Finally, so we'll separate parafilm and we will cover it over here then we'll take a piece of masking tape put it on the beaker and we'll label it what it is so we know what it is now we want that to sit for about 24 hours now every once in a while you can kind of mix it up a little bit uh, when you're around and stuff like that after 24 hours it should be fully dissolved hopefully if it's not go another 24 hours we can take it up take a look at it now what we're gonna do is we're gonna filter and get rid of all the water. The problem is it can be quite thick. So we're gonna take our Buchner funnel apparatus here and we are going to hook up a vacuum hose to it, like so. And if you've noticed, I have a coffee filter in there that I cut to roughly the size, so that's good. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we'll turn this water on. So, see the water flowing? So as the water flows down here, through this part here, it's also pulling air into here to go with it. So that pulling of the air creates a vacuum, a sucking, and we're gonna suck air out of here. So when we pour our water, our, not water, but our chopped up pieces of dissolved fiddler crab or mangrove or, or fish or shrimp, whatever we're doing, it's gonna to try to pull this water out, leaving the, leaving the microplastics and any hard pieces down into there. So we just pull it, pour the water there, and you can see the water's getting sucked through. Now, most likely, when you do this, there's still gonna be some parts and pieces in here and some slush. Now you can take a little squirt bottle with distilled water 
and you can spray in here to add more water to keep it filtering. More water and keep it filtering. More water and to keep it filtering until it seems like all the big stuff is gone. Uh, uh, all the stuff is washed off and all the microplastics will then be on the filter. When you're done, you stop it. Take a pair of uh, tweezers. Find some tweezers here. And we can remove our filter carefully. And then we can place our filter on a Petri dish, cover it, and let it dry completely. Once we're done, then it's just a matter of putting it under a microscope and counting the amount of microplastics. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.